Hey, welcome back to Cooking with April. What are you cooking for dinner tonight? Tonight, I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. Also with my barbecue chicken, I think I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and some green beans. <clears throat> I honestly love homemade macaroni and cheese, but barbecue chicken is something about putting that barbecue sauce over the top of your macaroni and cheese. Anyway, if you do that, leave me a comment below and let me know. So my chicken's done. I've got it boiled. It was frozen, um, but it's almost like completely done. I've just got it boiling and I'm gonna put it in a pan. I'm gonna drain out some of this broth and then I'm gonna put my green beans in the chicken broth. Okay, so my chicken's, my chicken is almost completely done boiling, <clears throat> excuse me, but I don't want it to fall completely apart just yet. I want it to, I want it to fall more apart in the pot. So who, um, doesn't like these crock pot bags. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my pan with this crock pot bag, put my chicken in here. And then I'm gonna keep that broth and I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper and put my green beans straight in there. I have my chicken in the bag. See, it's, sorry, it's not completely done. But I'm just gonna add in my barbecue sauce. Okay. So I did water my barbecue sauce down because I didn't have as much as I thought I was gonna have, but it's okay. We're gonna, still gonna be very yummy. Now I'm gonna close up my bag and tie it. Probably could use a smaller, um, but it's okay. I am, I'm doing this just because I don't want to make a mess in my pan. I mean, it's okay if it does. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna use any elbow grease to have to clean the pan. Plus, I think it'll be more steamable and make the chicken a little more tender um, that's on the bone versus, you know, kind of like help it fall off the bone. All right, this is the last of the bone chicken that I have, so I'm excited to use it. Into my little oven here. Make sure it doesn't touch the element. There we go. The struggle was real. The struggle was seriously real there. Ta-da! Five years later. In the, in the chicken goes the oven. In the oven goes the chicken. And I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes on 350. <laughs> there we go. So now my, my chicken broth is still boiling, which is wonderful. Just gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Y'all know I love pepper. And some salt. It never works. And this will be enough leftovers for me for almost up until Thanksgiving. Ouch, that was hot. Then I'm just gonna put the lid on it and let it come to a bowl. Then I'm gonna get to washing and peeling my potatoes for mashed potatoes. So I have five potatoes. These four are pretty small. I'm just gonna peel them pretty thinly. Get the, Just get the peelings off. They were red potatoes, I would just leave the peelings on, but I don't, I don't care for the peeling on a white potato. I'm just gonna peel these up and put them in a pot and let them boil and cream them. Just make cream potatoes or mashed potatoes, whatever you wanna call them. All right, got them all peeled. 
Now I'm just gonna dice them up. You don't, um, I don't care that they're not like, you know, in perfect symmetry. And the reason why is because I sometimes like to have that little chunk of potato. Not all the time, but some of the times. Plus, if you cut some bigger and smaller, it'll help thicken the potatoes versus, you know, I don't know. I don't know if what I said is any type of trueness to it or not. Maybe it's just an Aprilism and it's all in my mind. I'm gonna give these a rinse, just to get some of that starch out of there. And onto the burner it goes. We're gonna crank it up. See you when it's done. My potatoes are done, so I'm just gonna strain these real fast. I got the chicken out. I don't know if you can see that. It's water in there, cause it'll help melt the butter. I use this versus the stick butter. I need the stick butter for my bacon. I was gonna use my little handy dandy mixer, but I think I'm just gonna smash like this. They're soft enough. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, I love too much water. It's okay, it'll, it'll steam out. Looks like we're having potato soup. I have not used white potatoes to cook with in kumbuk ages. I'm gonna open my chicken and this, ooh, child of mercy, that's part near hot. Open my chicken in this bowl here. Oh man, John Brown it. There's a little pinhole in my thing and it got in my pan anyway. At least it isn't baked in there. Oh yeah. Now the potatoes are good. Here's the green beans. Ta -da! Okay. Let's see. I guess being this one's already got the hole. Go ahead. And dump it. The only thing about cooking it like this is, which I don't like skin, I don't even like bone-in chicken. But anyway, um, I got what was cheaper, or I found it on sale, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're gonna eat it off the bone. All right, let's fix this a plate. Okay. Some green beans. Some mashed potatoes. I know there's a chicken breast in here. Yummy in my tummy. Well, there you have it. Simple, easy peasy. Only took me about, I don't know, an hour to start from finish. But I will say that I like the bag idea. Not too terribly bad. I love cooking in the crock pot with them too. Plus, you know, I can be very lazy at times. But anyway, I hope this video put some yummy on your tummy and a smile on your heart. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.